Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Beta 19. Was Beta 1.0, but not anymore. We are in our lovely colony of Riverside. We got tons of people in here. So despite the emer you know, the occasional um random death, we're still growing well. Uh we've got a few recruits. If we can get Cantrell in here, if I recall correctly, there's some interesting stuff. Yeah, not super high cooking skill currently, but double passion is really nice. Industrious is gonna mean uh really fast production. Nudist may not be the most sanitary way to cook. Uh certainly you don't want to get any bacon grease splashed on any important bits. Oof, that might be bad, but uh, still happy to have it. And the, uh, again, the medical skill not particularly high either, but with the double passion, we'll go ahead and, and enable that, and that's going to be okay. We set up a second stockpile over here because we were getting a lot of overflow, and I think that's going to be okay and fine. We're waiting for some power cables to be built. We've got a boom wrap sleeping inside of our stockpile, which isn't the safest thing in the universe. But I guess it's going to be okay. Uh, we should have a good amount of steel right now and components as well because we just made some purchases, if I recall correctly, in the last or before last episode, which is nice to see. And we do have the extra cooking station over here. It's a little bit cramped. I think I would still like to do some sort of redesign of the cooking area slash dining area. Um, and it's probably going to be somewhat based on on this space here, depending on, on how well the drying goes, but we'll have to wait for a while. There's some rich soil over there that'd be nice to plant on, but it's also, it's just in the way. So we're gonna leave it there. Is this a completed statue? It is, it's actually good quality, so it eventually will get shipped over there, but let's go and cut out the middle man, and, oh no, it's installed over there, my bad, okay. For some reason I thought it was just dropped on the ground. Oh, we do have a good statue over here, which we're gonna go ahead and install in someone's bedroom. Is that one actually in use? It is. Accidental aggro, nice. Manifest and Cucuminator doing some cooking, which is good because we had like no cooked meals whatsoever. It's a bit of an issue. Um, lab lab. Okay, I mean the labs may. Why are you following some? Uh, the labs may eat some of our cooked meals, but I want to let them wander around. It's going to be okay. A warrior is passing by. We could just go and capture you, but what's the point? We got tons of people. Uh, excuse me. Oh my god, that's terribly bad for me. <laughs> Yawn like that. This is my first recording of the day, and my brain's like, mm, let's get some more oxygen in here. For the recording you got some malnutrition over here because you are stuck in your room but you'll get over it at some point it's going to be okay um any chance now you didn't have passion for crafting but it was like medical crafting for you know you'll be able to make medicine for us you don't have passion for crafting which is a bit unfortunate but if you can get your medical up to four crafting four medical four equals we can make drugs now it'd be nice if we had one of the mods running where we could um have a little bit more fine tuning over what crafting would be enabled, but that's gonna be okay, I think. Most of the crafting here needs a crafting skill that's gonna be higher than that person has to offer. Uh, they might spend some time doing wood cutting. I don't know. Hopefully the drug production is just a higher priority. I said wood cutting, I meant stone cutting. Um, hopefully the the medical drug creation is a higher priority than the uh, the stone cutting, but we'll see. All right, you've got your go just addiction. You're still missing that one lung, which is a little bit unfortunate. Recreation of prize, go, go juice withdrawal. That's going to be okay. Just sleep through the withdrawal. You'll be fine. We had someone else. Was it uh, Ratlord who got over uh, his his addiction to Psychite, which is nice. And we're still waiting for some leg construction to happen. Hopefully it'll happen at some point. Ratlord making some joints over here. What are you making? You're making a helmet. All right. Kind of a long piece of metal to start. I don't know. I guess maybe you wrap it around. So we still have the production queue for the helmets, which is a good thing. I mean, we just try to keep one of everything around. Um, and people do equip it pretty quickly. Like we have, I guess, Cucuminator here actually just has a toque on, not a helmet. So most of our people are pretty well armored, which I think is one of the reasons we haven't had as many fatalities as we might think. Uh, no longer hiding in the room. You've got an extreme break risk again, but as long as you go and eat and then maybe get some rest, you'll be fine. Meals are just being dropped onto the ground. Again, at some point they'll get carted off into the rooms, although they're mostly just getting eaten, you know, very quickly. All right, we're up to 31 meals. We don't have like bulk meal construction jobs or anything like that. No, package survival meals, pemmican, psychite tea. I'm thinking of the, uh, the the garden mods, which are great, um, and add all kinds of bulk cooking and things like that, depending on exactly uh, entirely which sort of sub mods and things that you put in. But we are just running this vanilla, and it's actually nice to to revisit the vanilla from time to time. In particular, I have to say, vanilla has gotten pretty damn strong. I'm actually not feeling the sort of lack of mods the way that I used to. 
There's a lot of stuff that's been built into the game. Um, you know, there's just more depth to it, but also a lot of low quality of life stuff. So sort of like the, I can carry stuff and, and do some of the work, like that, that sort of combination of some of these tasks that used to be based on mods, the, uh, the all very important, um, unforbid all items over here, which is something that honestly should have probably been in the game a long time ago. I don't know, but it's in there now, so I guess we won't complain too much. How are we doing with the mining? Um, it might be nice to have some sort of overlay or something to more quickly and easily see the mineable minerals. I feel... Oh, no, there's some over here. I feel like we're probably nearly done. I'm going to go and do that. Just... It'll probably mine some random rocks too, but then I don't have to go around. We never did an exploratory and dig over here. Let's do something like that. Let's start with that and then maybe we'll... I don't know. Here, something like this and like that. Okay, we'll do something like that. Otherwise, I mean, we're probably mostly using these little mining bits. We've got one set up there, one set up there, and then we'll move them around, get a steady supply. And we're also hoping to just be able to purchase things. Some people are doing a little uh, puff puff pass over here, a little smoking of the smoke leaf. Uh, I don't know, what date is it? October 17th, that's the magic date in Canada for legalization of, uh, of smoke leaf. It'll be really interesting to see exactly how that goes. <laughs> Struck comp. Wait. Oh, there is stuff to be mined over here. Hey, hey, more components. Look at that. And that's actually a hard little thing to hit. So we got kind of lucky with um, with hitting that because these are very small veins. So it would be easy if I just done one tile over. I think we would have missed it. So I mean, there might be some more stuff just like lying around in some of these little hills. But at a certain point, I don't know if it becomes that useful to continue to dig up, especially if we can develop an economy otherwise. Um, and just growing something like cotton or some of the drugs, we we're able to do a little bit of an economy in, in that way. Um, we might want to do... We don't grow a lot of cotton. I think it's just here. Do we grow... Yeah, some Devil Strand over here. Um, hmm. Bandit camp request? Ooh. Lucy, wooden table, LMG. I don't actually want any of those rewards. I'm actually... And we've got so many people, I would kind of be okay with going and taking a mission to go and clear a bandit camp, but that one's not a very handy one. Like, I really don't care about the rewards. If it was just literally, like, raw steel, I'd be I'd be more excited about it, which is kind of funny. Toby from HR, watch him from time to time. Oh, he's just sleeping. Very boring. God damn it, Toby. Why you gotta be like that? So we still have some stuff to sell, these extra guns and things. We have a lot of little fur chunks. We haven't done tons of tailoring in a while. Well, that's because we're actually capped. Now, I could make more with the idea to sell. You know, I was just talking about perhaps setting up that economy, especially with our ability to hunt from time to time and various things like that. I could also go and make sure we've got more variety. Now, making hats, there's not much point because we're all wearing helmets. Uh, we make the button-down shirt, like, but I don't know, like, should we have a t-shirt? Should we have a regular jacket? Just give people a few options. I suppose that would be okay. Um, wow, the game lagged when I went there? That's weird. Do until you have X, where X is 1, and we only count things that aren't terrible. And then same thing here, do until you have 1 and only count things that are not terrible. Okay, so we'll just we'll just keep a little bit more variety. Maybe people will want to wear different things for different reasons. Plus, it gives us a little bit of something, something more to sell. And we could go and, and set up some sort of repeat job. What would be interesting, perhaps, is there's probably, I'm betting on some sort of wiki or something like that, some analysis people have done for tailoring of the best bang for your buck. Like, some combination of sell price versus raw material, possibly versus amount of work required to do it or something like that. There's probably some optimal item to make for, uh, hey, no resistance anymore, nice, um, to, to maximize your profit. There's probably something like that and then we could just put some sort of like, keep 10 of these around or, or do them forever. Maybe not do forever because we might not wanna burn, down, burn through all of our material, but we might do something like keep 10 of them around. Most likely I could just take, you know, any piece of clothing. I don't know, we'll make, we'll make parkas because they won't take that much storage space. Like, they're going to be fairly dense. So we've got a rotten dromedary out there. So not everything got butchered. Go Frenzy. Move faster for eight days. Well, there you go. Accidental aggro. That's nice. You're currently doing 
a lot of hauling and cleaning. What's your actual work schedule look like? Where are you? Right here. Right, hunt, construction, which we don't have, so you're doing a lot of hauling and cleaning, which is very important. We do need a lot of that fairly regularly. Looks like we can mine there and there, and it looks like there's really nothing else in this uh, pile of stuff. We'll put some mini hauling jobs on here to keep the, uh, the hallway open, but yeah. Still, getting some components is really nice, because you get, what, a couple per chunk of this or something like that? You get some. Starflight basics. We're going to go and scroll way over. AI persuasion. Persuade an existing AI persona corn to servicing the ship's AI. Yeah, so, I mean, we're going to need all these things to be able to build our ships. Um, oh, we'll have to go over here for the Starflight sensor as well. Tell you what, we'll start with the long-range mineral sensor, our scanner. I believe this reveals mining sites outside of your current map. Oh, that's different! 15 days to charge up. Once we begin that process, the ship reactor will emit an energy signature detectable from thousands of kilometers away. Raiders will flock to attack you in waves that intensity you've never seen. Mechanoids also need to be attracted to such energy signatures for their mysterious reasons. Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know they changed the end game. Oh, I'm so pumped for like the final crazy battle. Cause usually like you just sort of grind out, or it used to be, you'd grind out the ship as like, well, I guess we'll finally finish this. You grind out the ship and then you send some people and you're like, okay, we're done. But now, Oh, wave after wave of enemy. Yeah, so we might want to build something more defensible. I already said that I'd probably build the spaceship inside of the wall uh, of a walled-in area. So now it makes a lot of sense. I'm still not going to make some sort of kill box, but I, what I could see is, say, like, let's say over here, right? We build a giant sort of wall area like this. Build a ship inside. Hopefully that's the right space. Maybe, like, literally line the outside with guns. It would take a ton of material, but it would also give us a really cool goal. To, uh, to aim for. Got an idler that's Prakis. Why is Prakis actually idle? Where are you? Prak? Over here? You even got some hauling. Huh. We could put like a level 4 craft on you. Because you might at least. No, you're going to rest. You might at least chop some stone or something like that. You might also like sort of screw things up with this like permanently incomplete thing. So poor old Dark is still there. I think you'll be fine once the Go Juice Addiction goes away. It's just you have such a huge penalty to things with this withdrawal. That's why Dark isn't moving. But that's okay. You'll you'll get up again. A little chat at Cantrell. So the resistance is gone. So we're going to start having a chance to recruit. And in fact, it happened right away. So speaking of right away, let's get you renamed. Copy. And where's RimWorld? Right over here. And paste, you're not gonna be Cantrell, you're gonna be Seabreeze! What is your full name? Oh, it's because it's got the extra bit in there. I'm like, it looked like a really long name, but yeah. Military commissionary, or commissar over here, the nudist industrious person. Um, you are flagged as being a hunter. You have good shooting, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, dunna, dunna. Um, doctor, so again, only level three. But you've got passion, we're gonna let you do it because it's kind of hilarious. You do have some passion for social. Um, I guess we'll have that be there too, that's gonna be okay. Then cook, turn off hunting, construction, growing, mining. Duh, I think I will turn on crafting. Again, the idea is, um, especially once you get a point in medical, you'll be able to do some crafting and it'll be okay. We might set some other limits. If we find that Seabreeze end up starting to do some tailoring or something like that, we might change it so that you no longer, well, I guess tailoring its own thing. So whatever other falls under the craft thing, we might change the requirements for different jobs to require a higher skill, just so that Seabreeze doesn't sort of do that, but it's gonna be okay. You're gonna go wear a flak vest. So you are, yeah, you're constraining clothing. You're not nude. We could change your, your wear policy. So you go around pantsless. As long as you wear a parka, you should hopefully be okay. You're gonna make smoke leaf joints, which is kind of okay. I mean, you will still cook as a higher priority than craft, which is fine. Smoke leaf joints don't require any skill. I mean, you do get skill. I think, I'm not sure. I feel like it used to be a 50% penalty to learning. I, I think that was the case, because <clears throat> I think I used to th I think that going from no passion to having one tick of passion effectively doubled your healing, your learning rate, because you go from minus 50% or at 50% to 100%, so that was a doubling. I think they might have changed it to minus 35, which isn't as bad anymore. Uh, so yeah, the passion is 100%. Oh wait, hold on. I See, there's a little dash there. I assume that meant minus 35%, but no, it just learns at 35%, because here you've got, it would be mi minus 100%, which is clearly wrong. 
Okay, so going from no passion to passion actually triples the skill gain. So yeah, you really aren't going to gain any skill doing this. Still, I mean, if there's no cooking available because all the other stations are, are in use, you might as well. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. It's not like you're going to screw up rolling the joints over here, so... Sure. But you do need one point of medical skill. It'd be nice if we could somehow practice. Just do random surgeries on someone or something like that. Get you a point of medical skill, because then you could start making actual drugs. Alright, we got some kibble making happening too, which is fine. We got a cougar that died from somewhere. I wonder how that died. Maybe it tried to attack like a rhino or something? I know we had some rhinos running around. Is there one over here? Yeah. Nothing there, but there may have been something like that. In any case, we'll be able to butcher you. And yeah, continuing to make kibble is fine. I think we still have bug meat. I think that's what that is over here. So the bug meat is all going to be made into kibble, which is really good. All right, got a little bit mining going on here and here, which is nice. We get a steady supply of steel coming in. We got the huskies still helping out with some of the medicine. We might want to grow more heal root. We got tons of potatoes over here. What is over this? Some hay grass, which I still think is fine. Um, you know what we can probably do? I'm going to stop this from being potatoes. We're going to keep this whole potato thing that's going to be okay. Um, maybe keeping some corn for some variety is going to be okay, but I'm thinking about more heel root. We've got psychoid. Is there anything else I would like to grow? I don't think we grow any cocoa, actually. Oh, it's trees. Okay. It's either heel root or even more de devil strand, but I think what we'll do is we'll do that. Where are we going to grow our cocoa trees? How about right over here? We got soil, 100% fertility. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't even realize that was a thing I was missing out on. Oh my God, how do we not grow chocolate? Uh, I'll line it up with the building. We'll leave a double gap like that. Sort of line it up with the building, and then something like this. And so you are for cocoa trees. Do we actually get chocolate? Huh. And the other thing we could do is set up an actual tree growing area. But the thing is, we have plenty of trees over here. I think one of the advantage to an a tr like a wood tree growing area, which I'm assuming cocoa trees don't get chopped, is I think with a right, like if I drew poplars, I think every time they hit 100%, they'd be automatically harvested for wood. And that means we don't have to manually, you know, tell the game to chop some stuff, but I don't think that actually matters in any way. Speaking of wood, I think we've got tons in storage right now. Yep, like I'm kind of tempted to do some wood chopping here, but I don't think there's any reason to do it. We're getting our material over here, which is good. I wonder if we'll get a note when one of these runs out of resources underneath it. Resource below is steel. At some point, presumably, it says no resources whatsoever, and then we might change it. So there we go. We're going to get more heal root. I mean, it's not like we weren't growing a fair amount of heal root. Um, we actually do have a decent amount of herbal meds, but actually not even that much. Things go bad if we get like a round of disease, right? If a bunch of people get the plague or flu or malaria or something like that, we're going to need a lot of meds for regular treatments. Um, so we're going to want a bunch of it. And some of it we do want to convert into medicine. So that's going to be nice. Uh, Cucuminators making components. A mad boomalope. That is very dangerous. Hopefully it's just the one. Recruit. Oh, okay. All right, you triggered on the gun, and then it's on fire. I assume all of this is home area. I'm going to expand it just a scooch here, just to make sure if the fire spreads, it's going to be put out. Um, and by having everyone be recruited for a second and unrecruited, it forces them to reevaluate their jobs, which means they're going to go and put out the fire ASAP. And ideally, we want to save these things before they explode. Seriously, you got to prioritize. Um... How come we can't prioritize putting out this fire? Oh, there he is. There, good. Okay. It's very important the turret doesn't burn down. We did lose a couple of traps. We'll have to be rebuilt. The turret burning down would be annoying because we'd have to... Oh, sad wonder. Because um, we'd lose a lot of material, but it could also explode while in range of people trying to put out other fires. And I have a feeling exploding turrets is probably unhealthy for people. I've seen it a lot when uh, when we get attacked by, you know, maliers, you know, the tribal people type of thing. They run up, they bash a turret, and it explodes, and it sort of goes down. Need this heater to be fixed. Uh, 17 degrees is not too bad. As long as it's not too cold outside, one heater can do one of these rooms, but I still like the security of having two. 
two heaters working at medium strength most of the time is a lot more secure than having one heater having to hit 100% constantly. We're going to chop up the boomalo, so a little bit more fresh meat. Um, we still have a, a lot of fresh meat. We've got plenty of potatoes as well. Um, actual food sources are really high, although keep in mind 4,800 of this is the hay. Oh, this is, no, this is not the category I was thinking of. It's this one. I was looking at raw food. Um, but yeah, we are now up to 85 meals, which is nice. Uh, simple meals. Did I set that to a higher number? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then we still have the infinite cook fine meals job, which is good. So cook fine meals whenever you can. And if you can't, cook some simple meals so that we have a few of them. I don't think the rhino ever attacks people. I think we can more or less ignore that. It's going to be okay. So we got a couple of jobs being worked on by Dark. They're nearly done. I could cancel them since Dark is still in bed. Although, again, I think you're going to be up and running perfectly fine soon. So we can leave those unfinished jobs. But I was thinking I could cancel them and, and reclaim the material for someone else to start the job or something like that. But it's going to be okay. You're going to watch some television. I mean, overall, like, you know, everyone's pretty pleased. Recreation. Lots of beauty in this room. I mean, it's packed tight. But yeah. Decent comfort, because we have a good number of comfortable chairs. You're harvesting a little here. We've got some hard snow going on now. It's nearly the end of December, already, though. So I think we're not going to be a lot of snow anymore. Okay, no longer wandering in sadness, which is nice. Still getting some material over here. Toby's hauling herbal meds. Slate blocks. Oh, we got some more blocks. Oh, yeah, we're finally starting to get some blocks. A psychic soothe is going on, making females happy. I don't know what our, our gender split is. I think, for some reason, I'm thinking we're leaning very male. Three, four, five. Yeah, only five females in this list, mostly males. Oh, right, we did set up the extra power. Now that we've got some blocks and we are primarily focusing on, well, we've got a mixture. We've got a fair amount of limestone. We'll use limestone over here. Let's go and structure walls limestone. No, 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 no. And then limestone door. The walls are the priority. Um, then we'll work on the flooring afterwards. We need to make sure there is no roof on top of this so that it can continue to vent. Then when it's done, what we'll do is we'll come back and we build some, some floor just to help provide a bit of a fire break. All right, replanting the, um, the heel root, which is nice. Get a constant supply of that. Keeps looking like someone's smoking over here, but it's just the pollution from our drill. Or maybe dust that gets kicked up. I don't know. The drill, it's an electric drill, right? It needs to be powered, so it's not like burning gas or anything, so it should be okay. We'll unforbid that boar, which died from something. Yeah, a bunch of things are dying all over the place. What did you die from? A grizzly bear. We might... Oh, down here, huh? We might want to consider taking out the grizzly bear. Oh. Dead boomalope. Okay. People should be going and dealing with that. Again, I'll wake everyone up and force them to reevaluate to take care of this ASAP. What did you die from? No, I wanted to click on it. Damn it. I'll just wait until it gets delivered. I suppose I could recruit you to force you to drop it, but we'll wait for you to get over here. What the hell does it die from? Heart attack! It just had a heart attack and died. Wow, okay, boom loops are really scary. It, it is uh, it is raining right now, and if we were, we could consider taking out the boom lopes, and I think we might actually. He's already injured. I think from like various fires. Uh, oh, did I pause? I thought we were gonna get attacked here. Group up a little so you don't shoot each other in the back. I don't think Seabreeze has a weapon. Nope. You run over here and equip that. Try not to get shot on your way. Okay. We're hoping the rain puts this out. I don't think it's a very strong rain, but I think it'll do. Okay. We might go and hunt the, um, the grizzly bear while we're at it. Okay. Done. Grizzly bear was... Okay, it's over here, and it's asleep. Although, it'll wake up pretty quickly once we shoot it. closer. It's okay. You you don't have to stop the pausing. I do wish... There's a mod that lets you override that. I do wish in the base game 
there was an option to say, no, listen, sometimes I really want to run it at speed 3. Or if, like, you shift-clicked it or something and still being able to run it at speed 3, even if there's, you know, some sort of hostility. Unrecruit, unrecruit, you've got your weapon now, which is great. We'll go ahead and unforbid all items. All right. And eventually those guys will be picked up and butchered. I still don't like the fact that there's a boom rat in our stockpile over here, but we will leave it be. All right, so everyone's asleep. Butchering this. Feeding meals to Dark. How you doing, Dark? 95%. You'll get there, buddy. You'll be fine. Even this wolf could cook injuries. Or this fox. Harakith. You attacked a rabbit and it, like, ripped you apart, man. I don't know why the critters... I guess because it's winter, maybe there's not enough berries or something like that. Like, it feels like the critters are having to, like, attack each other a lot more than I might be used to. Okay, that all got mined out. There was, a um, Somewhere. Didn't we have a little bit of silver somewhere? And I I'd, I'd box selected a bit more to be done. I suspect... Oh, it may have been right there. And that seems to be done done, which is good to see. As far as I know, that's all the mineables. Okay. Um, I just remembered I have to do this with sea breeze. And you weren't a night owl or anything, right? Nudist, industrious, abrasive. An abrasive nudist. Bam of us is in confusion. Poor old Bam. It's okay, Bam. We'll take care of you. Everything's gonna be fine. So this stockpile, which is good, a little bit of overflow. It's not much, like, it was mostly, like, the meat that was overflowing over here, and now we've got, see, there's gaps over here. It's good to set up the extra stockpile, because I think it's still gonna see some use, but more or less the, the problem with having an overflow of stuff has been resolved, at least for now. So what are you doing? See, you're, you're making some smoke leaf joints. Um, that is very far. I think this has to be frozen, though. Yeah. It does suck that you have to carry it so far to produce that. I suppose we could have a little freezer here for smoke leaf. That's not... That's not a dumb idea. A little freezer here. Just for the stuff we might make drugs out of. Um, I'm, I'm wondering about changing to stone construction. We still don't have infinite amounts, though. And, I mean, wood is dangerous because everything can be set on fire, but it's also a lot more exciting because everything can be set on fire. <laughs> uh, let's let's go ahead and do that. A little room over here. We'll put an auditor on it and everything. That's going to be fine. And temperature. So you're going to have a cooler that does something like that. And just because it'll look better. Uh, floor. Wooden floor. Another explosion. Fire. Oh, it's this guy. What did you die from? Recruit, unrecruit, put up the fire right away. And then we get a raid. Okay, they will prepare for a while. And they're fairly far away from my people, so we shouldn't accidentally. Um, Prakis is going to go and get himself murdered, so don't do that. Wait. <gasps> they're attacking from two different sides. Run, Accental Agro, run! I might want to restrict everyone to our home zone for now, although that would count as part of the home zone, too. Holy crap. Okay, put out the fire. We're going to put in a cut, and then we're going to figure out what the heck to do um, next time here. Nope, silent flame. Stay away. Okay, that's done. Okay, good. Whew! Uh, wow! Wow! So two separate attack groups, which does mean we could take one perhaps early on. Well, no matter what, we're sort of going to fight one at a time. We may wait until they come at us. So this defensive build isn't going to cover much because of this, you know, blockade. It's, it's still good from this side, I suppose. Or, you know, some people might come around here. Use some of these walls as cover. I don't know. Well, let's put in a cut, and we're going to deal with this raid next time. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then.